This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hello, all. welcome to the next session. Module pool programming and in the last class we have seen table control again today also we are going to see the table control guys. So maybe last time you are a little bit confused it seems right. So I am going to start the module pool again. So last time we have seen the uh, table control for the timesheet application and we'll go to the SAP. And also the same application which we have used in the yesterday for the ALE and IDOX, the same data we have transferred to the different system. Okay, so maybe I go to the SE 10. I forgot the program and go to the module pool. I think yeah. Uh, this is the program. Okay, screens. Oh, okay, so we have designed one. Last time we have designed three screens in Mamata's program. Maybe I will do today also the same thing again. Okay, so I'm going to create a screen. First screen, uh, which is an a 99 and uh, it's a uh, choose application and save and go to the layout and i'm going to select radio button First radio button is uh, some uh, GV underscore uh, employee. So uh, manage uh, employee. The first radio button and second radio button and select the second radio button and it's a uh, GV underscore company and manage. Uh, company okay then we are going to create one more radio button and time sheet gv underscore time gv underscore time and manage time sheet so three radio buttons which we are going to design guys And also, I will put on a box. Okay. Then, three radio buttons. We need to select the three radio buttons. And uh, three radio buttons I have selected edit and uh, grouping, radio button group, and uh, define. And select one of the uh, save and activate. Okay, and select oh, what happened? Why it's not coming up? Uh, yeah, so you need to give some function code. Maybe it's in a radio button RB. The function code is radio button. Okay, so everywhere the function code is assigned. See, if you assign to one radio button, this will be assigned, and go to the flow logic and Enable the application toolbar and go to the module and S and OK and OK and OK. And enable the PF status. Yesterday we did in Mamata program. Today I am doing in my program. 
so next one is uh, set pf status and it's an a status underscore 99 and click on the status and go to the status and status 99 and okay and enable the keys and okay code enter option okay code and uh, save is not required here and i want an a back i want an a exit or cancel uh, exit and uh, cancel okay save and activate uh, maybe you will see automatically exit command function type is exit command automatically assign function type exit and function type exit okay <laughs> and activate the uh, application toolbar and come back and next go to the uh, we'll, we'll write the logic later this so first i am going to maybe we'll write the logic for the back options okay so uh, only the user command so the pai event will be triggered whenever you click on some action so i am going to the pai event and uh, uh, case uh, any if you take any action the action will be stored in the sci ucom system variable sci ucom is the system variable and when it is in a back okay or um, cancel or exit okay leave to uh, screen zero initial screen i will go to the initial screen zero okay say activate and uh, activate the flow logic activate the flow logic guys that's it 99 is done and the uh, 199 and also i am going to create uh, one more screen for the uh, create uh, maybe so in user command so when this is that and so here next one is when if it is an ok code when you press enter and when you choose radio buttons if the radio button gv underscore employee which is equal to the above underscore true so if the radio button gv underscore employee is selected and call the screen employee my screen is 100 and else if if it is in a gv underscore uh, comp comp which is equal to the above underscore uh, true and call screen uh, i didn't create maybe i will create in a 101 and else if uh, gv underscore time which is equal to the above underscore a true and call screen 102 and end if okay so from this transaction so from this 99 screen we have three radio buttons if the employee radio button selected go to the employee screen if the company radio button selected go to the company screen if the timesheet selected go to the timesheet now we do not have 101 and 102 and double click on the screen to create an a screen and okay and go to the screen and it's in a manage uh, company uh, details and go to the layout so maybe in the top of the program i declare all the tables case so maybe i go to here and uh, the radio buttons are okay uh, we we did a different radio buttons now i selected gv underscore employee and type c and gv underscore company which is an a type c and gv underscore uh, time and which is an a type c and next one is i declare in a tables for the uh, e g e d z 9 and also uh, company and go to the company and <coughs> and also i declare an a 
data gt underscore time sheet which is a type table of gedz9 and time sheet not time sheet we have an employee hours and also i am going to create an a uh, work area gs center time sheet which is an a type of gedz9 and employee hours so i have created an a work area and this is control s and pretty printer so i have declared the required things and now i go to the screen uh, 101 and go to 101 and go to the layout and design the screen for the company details and go to the uh, dictionary program fields and the table is GEDZ9 uh, and company and get it from dictionary and I'm going to get it from the dictionary and yesterday I did this by using work area but today I'm doing it with the uh, table only guys because I need to put all the text so this is my company ID and put in a box and um, put in a box so it gives little uh, beautification and that's it guys and save and uh, uh, activate the screen and okay and also uh, activate the screen and go to the flow logic and flow logic and module and uh, and enable the PBO for the screen. And what is the uh, status, PF status? I need to enable it, guys. And enable the PF status and go to the uh, status underscore 101 and click on and create the status and OK and status 01 and OK and enable the keys. And one is the OK code, another one is the save, another one is the uh, back and another one is the exit and cancel. Okay, save it and uh, uh, automatically it comes in a exit, exit commands which are assigned automatically. Please. Okay, and activate the screen, activate the uh, toolbar and come back and come back and uh, write the user command logic. And whenever you click on some push button, the push button value will be stored in the case psi iPhone and U C O M M and <coughs> and the case and when it is in a back <coughs> or exit or cancel and leave to screen 99 not the zero <laughs> back is 99 when it is an a uh, save hmm? or when it is in a save and save the data in the database and i use always modify statement case yes? modify and uh, uh, modify um, gedz9 uh, company and company details and from the edz9 i did the screen design with the table so i am going to put in a same uh, table guys so because i have used in a table as in a um, uh, for the screen design i have used this work area i created in a tables option so this is going to create an a uh, the data whatever you enter the data will be stored in the work area that work area from that work area i'm going to modify the database table so that's it and save and uh, uh, activate we'll see the activation part later and activate the flow logic of the screen that's it and uh, so now my screen is 99 and uh, the next screen is 101 and in the 10 uh, sorry 10 actually okay the stereo radio buttons okay create rb1 update rb2 and delete rb3 okay guys sorry and i have deleted them so radio buttons also should be there one is uh, uh, 
create underscore rb1 and type c and update underscore rb2 and type c and delete underscore rb3 and type c these radio buttons in the employee application guys okay and activate the employee screen okay so now user command when it is in a back not leave to screen no? this is leave to 99 because we are in the 100 we are coming from the 99 screen we need to go back to the 100 uh, sorry 99 so this is what which we have done and maybe i am going to create a uh, transaction so go to the transaction gedg9 emp and now i have assigned in a 99 screen number guys and now activate the program and activate it and activate it okay so maybe i will go to the transaction gedg9 emp edg9 emp and enter see manage employee manage company and timesheet if it is in a manage employee it goes to the manage screen and we are going to uh, to find out uh, uh, to and name something okay name uh, we can put something okay such in and uh, employee date of birth something and uh, telephone something and such in at the rate okay it is the tech dot com okay save and which will save the data in the database and maybe i go to here and i am going to check the table se 16 and and gedz 9 employer uh, e and uh, so execute and you see the fine r2 is the such intent so this is the uh, fine r2 employee which we have saved okay that's okay uh, maybe now i am going to take fine art one suppose i want fine art one enter the fine art one details comes into the screen so which we did we selected the data whatever we entered that we populated on the screen guys so go to the back and maybe i will go to the manage company and see company id and uh, the company id details maybe i go to the uh, se16n and gedz uh, company company and maybe we have some uh, two companies 100 is in a tcs so maybe i will go to the uh, where is that 100 enter so guys the data is not coming up maybe what i need to do the data is not coming up here so i need to write an a logic and come back and go to the uh, screen so what is the screen for the company 101 is the screen guys so maybe i go to the user command so whenever you click on an a okay code and when you enter enter is an a okay code right so when it is an a okay code enter and select a star from gedz 9 company so and uh, select star it's in a select single star from this and and where the company uh, id and company id which is equal to the gedz 9 uh, company why because i have taken the same uh, fee, same uh, table as in a screen design guys that's it and it is going to populate the data guys pretty printer and we are taking this data and it is going to come up over here guys that's it and now i go back to the uh, transaction come back come back come back and edg9 emp and enter and manage company details enter and put 100 now you are going to get an a company details guys so this is a, a one more thing the company details which we have taken guys maybe i will create uh, one more company details maybe that company is uh, 101 and now i am going to create an a 102 and it's an a sap india private limited which is in a uh, uh, 
straight uh, is the uh, white field uh, which is in a uh, Bangalore and India and something six double zero so I don't know guys just I'm giving some number okay then it's info at sap.com so SAP is in a company and it's a product based company they man they build an SAP systems case so this is my save and one or two and go to the company details and refresh you can see the SAP India private limited that's fine but now the next part is so we need to design a screen so whenever it is an a 99 whenever you would like to whenever you click on timesheet it should go to the timesheet application and one or two is the screen and click on create an a one or two and it's in a manage timesheet timesheet and save and uh, uh, go to the uh, layout and whenever it is in a timesheet so maybe one employee can enter multiple records on a single shot so if it is in a normal input fields so we can enter only single record but if you want to enter multiple records in a single shot we need to have an, a table control so here you can see the uh, table control option see we have seen the yesterday uh, text we have seen the uh, input output field maybe checkbox we not had seen radio buttons we have seen and push buttons we have seen and next i am going to the table control option guys and go to the table control and select the table control so this is my table control and give that the steps what are the steps so first you must define the table control name and the table control name tc102 so and also guys if you want to get vertical horizontal everything you can uh, do the uh, this option guys and so see so this is the uh, uh, the table control you need to select this and okay then go to the uh, uh, dictionary and program here i am going to take an a uh, work area gs underscore uh, uh, time sheet okay this is from the program get it from the program see so you have an a employee number company uh, id and date and hours and amount and also currency guys this is the fields which we are going to take it and keep them uh, uh, here okay so whenever you get this like this maybe the first field will go last guys always so employee number goes to the final c so just drag this employee number to the first okay now you can see this is an a employee number you can see this is an a uh, company ID you can see this is an a uh, work date and this is an a uh, hours and this is an a the amount guys so maybe I can define a text over here and maybe I can put in a text it's an a uh, employee it's an a employee and uh, okay and employee maybe uh, display like right. okay bright means you will get an a color okay blue color so next one is <coughs> <coughs> next is company company and right okay next one is um, A date work date work date and right okay and uh, text so hours hours right it's a uh, Cost and it's a cost, cost first, power, right, and text, and here it is in a currency. See you, uh, see you, uh, it's in a currency, okay. 
so we have designed a name table control guys and save and uh, activate activate and whenever you activate whenever you design a table control the mandatory thing is you need to have an a loop you must have an a loop in the pbo as well as the pai so i am going to write an a uh, pbo and pa a loop so go back and and also guys whenever you define a table control you must define the controls and uh, tc102 table control and the type which is in a table view uh, type table view using screen 102 guys this you must define so pretty printer you must define a control and the table control name which we have given in the screen design that you need to give and a type table view using screen which screen you provided in a table control so this is the one step and go to the one art screen and in the flow logic you need to write any two things okay maybe uh, enable the um, uh, pbo and pa and design the these things first application toolbar in the pbo and it's an a status status 102 and double click on the status 102 and okay and uh, status 102 and okay and put okay code enable the okay code and uh, save enable the save enable the back enable the uh, exit enable the cancel okay and save and activate the status bar in this screen and come back and um, uh, come back and also um, write in a logic in the user command your user command details and in the user command it is in a case and psi hyphen u c o m m and uh, end case and write in a logic when it is in a back uh, or okay exit or it's in a cancel and and leave to screen 99 and when it is in a save we'll do the save and when it is in a uh, okay code do the okay code functionality guys so this logic i need to write so but before writing that logic i will go back i'm going to write to loop two times case so you need to loop <coughs> when a, the pbo as well as the pa and loop at gt underscore time uh, sheet into gs underscore time sheet okay uh, loop at gt underscore time sheet into gs underscore time sheet but in the loop guys whenever you use loop we need to use with control the table control tc102 the table control we are looping it and from which line you are going to loop it so the cursor should start from the current line guys current line so sorry uh, tc102 hyphen current underscore line so this is what i am going to do it guys and loop save and ready printer next one is i need to do it in a uh, i need to write in a loop in the uh, in the pbo pai as well loop at gt underscore time sheet and guys and end loop so whenever you whenever you do in the uh, uh, whenever you do in the uh, pai the into addition is not eligible guys it's not at all possible i think right so maybe we'll write into gs underscore time sheet printer do the syntax check see the addition is not allowed if you see here the addition is not at all allowed guys so this is the uh, pai and maybe whenever you do an a uh pa you need to do an age for every field so in the table control will be validated by using 
chain and the chain option so pretty printer so chain and chain we are going to use for this uh, chain and chain operator to validate the fields in the screen guys so we have to use field so field what is the field name which we have so one is the gs underscore time sheet iphone so one is the employee number uh, employee number and second field is field uh, gs underscore time uh, sheet iphone maybe i will go to the uh, uh, this table gedz9 uh, employee hours so go to here and display and one is the employee number sorry one is the employee number second one is the company id company id and uh, control c and control v and the next one is the uh, work date we need to do any work date and the next one is all fields you must mention guys here so control c and control v and uh, next one is cats hours next one is cats hours uh, next thing is control c and control v and next one is cats amount next one is cats amount and next one is currency next one is currency so you need to make an a uh, currency save and uh, ready printer do the syntax check so no syntax errors found guys but whenever i enter the data on the table control okay we have designed a table control with work area guys see this is my work area actually this is my work area right but whenever i enter the data here something okay so if it is in a table control the work area can hold only one record right but if it is in a table control what we need to do is we need to modify the data from work area to the internal table guys so that operation you need to do so the here you need to write an a the logic guys module okay and save data i tab i can say save that data in the i tab this is my module and when you need to save it on entering the data on uh, on chain uh, on chain request guys on chain request that's it so on chain request means so whenever you enter the data here okay that time this on chain request event will be triggered guys so whenever it is triggered and i will use this module in the loop and loop that means for every record it will loop it in the pai the table control and for every record we are going to save it guys so double click here and yes and okay and okay and go to the module this is important very very and i am going to do any modify internal table gt underscore time sheet from gs underscore time sheet and uh, index whenever you write an a modify you need to write an index but the index will be stored in so every table control index the first whether it is in a you, you we have drawn in a table control right uh, like this so this is my table control this is my table control see like same way so the first record the second record third record how do you uh, get the index of the records so how do you get the index of the uh, records the index of the record will will be saved in the we have defined a table control so in the table control we are going to get an index of the record guys tc underscore one or two do the control space you can see the index uh, is i think current line is my is the index so what is the current line whether it is the second line or third line or fourth line so the index we are going to use it over here guys and we'll see this uh, the whatever the data index the current first line second line third line the data will be saved in the gt underscore timesheet internal 
table guys so when it is when we have the data here and so later uh, whenever you do any save option maybe this module i need to put um, control x because after this only i need to trigger the user command it has to loop first and save the data in the internal table after that when i press save button so when i press save button and modify gedg 9 employee hours and from guys this is an internal table i use an a table option so the data is there in the gt underscore timesheet gt underscore timesheet that's it so now the data will be updated in the catch hours case so save and uh, activate the program and screen also inactive activate the screen activate the screen and come back uh, go to the layout even layout also you need to activate it you need to activate it okay activate it. so everything is activated everything is activated okay, save now i will go to the application and back 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 and refresh go to the gedg9 employee and manage timesheet and enter you see the table control option guys so maybe my employee i have created these employees so maybe the first employee 120 or uh, 501 we take 101 and 501 and company i will assign this com to the company 100 so tata consultancy services and work date so you can put an f4 so you will get an a calendar guys so maybe so fresh the last week we'll see guys so last week started from the 8 ah uh, sorry uh, okay this is a 2018 and 8th august uh, this is the week maybe i can enter some data week data sixth he work for eight hours and cost is 25 dollars so per hour guys per hour it's an a 25 usd and same employee uh, 501 and 100 and uh, take them uh, control v and next date is seventh and he work for eight hours and 25 dollars and which is in a usd and the same employee and 501 and 100 and uh, uh, control v and 8th and maybe you work for 5 hours and 25 dollars uh, and usd and 501 and 100 and uh, 0 9 point zero eight point two zero one eight and four hours and 25 and usd and next to employee five zero one and hundred and ten point zero eight point two zero eighteen and two hours 25 and which is an a usd five days you work and maybe i do control y and Control Y and copy Control C and Control. This is the table control. Guys, see multiple entries. We can do it. And another employee and the fine art two and fine art two and fine art two and fine art two and fine art two. And the next company I will assign this employee to the IBM 101. So I will assign this to the 101. And 101 and 101 and 101 and 101 maybe ibm will charge more cost than the tcs and so tcs is very cheap cost guys okay 30 30 usd they charge per hour so that's the guys and now i am going to perform an a uh, enter uh, shut so i need to get the data back guys okay my data is gone so what's the problem 
actually i will put on a debugger and i will see why it's not coming so go to the flow logic and and the save data actually this modify should work guys so ready printer and activate and why the modify is not working so put on a breakpoint again shit uh, 501 and 100 uh, next one is already it is copied um perfect okay i have a copied thing guys so, okay so take this control c and control v and okay maybe it's an a why not to to find out to see find out to find out to then find out to maybe i will have in a company So I'm going to take the data. I'm going to paste over here guys. See this is my control C control V That's the beauty. So you can enter multiple records if it's in a table control. We can enter multiple records guys. Okay, then I will do an a save Okay, save it see guys it goes to the debugger and I'm going to debug this application Why the data is not? See my current first line the current line comes the first line and if you can see the data the first line data also you can see that data the fine art 100 and 8 hours 25 guys that's the first line so it's 8 and 25 and 608 2018 608 2018 guys this is my data and so go to the uh, new debugger it's a old debugger this is it's... so i do an af5 and see guys size of rc4 so it's not modifying actually the modify will work okay so if the data record is not there it will insert the record otherwise it will modify the record but the one more thing is so if the internal table is empty first time if it is in a empty so the modify statement doesn't work guys so that's the problem so the first record if you write in a modify statement so it doesn't update in the modify so you need to check whether there is in a record or not if the record is there no problem modify will work if the record is not there it doesn't insert the record guys so that's the reason what we need to do is first check modify and if psi a1 sub rc not equal to zero if it is not updated and do any insert guys so insert the data insert uh, what is the insert insert work area into internal table insert this time sheet into our internal table gt underscore time sheet and index you need to provide an index so what is the index so the index is same index which you need to use it so this is the logic which you need to write it guys first time the modify statement doesn't work so then you need to write an insert statement guys so that's it and i am going to again uh, so every record see it is triggering every record current line so click on current line see every record the statement is triggered see um, eight records nine ten records we have and since the internal table is not modified that's why the data is not available guys now go back and go back go back now i go to the timesheet and enter and do the control Control C and Control V, and so now save the data and see, guys. 
so current line first record and modify so size of rc4 then insert the record now you can see the record in the uh, internal table guys so the internal table data you can see the first record is inserted to the internal table so like this it comes and it see guys it is looping the internal table and so how many records it will based on the input suppose you entered multiple records that many times it is going to be triggered so the second record and the next one is third record okay third record and so that's it and f8 and f8 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 total 10 records it will be triggered 10 times now you can see the data guys so the data is available over here so even so whenever you save this and yeah i have saved it and go to the employee hours did i save it and execute now you can see the timesheet data is saved in the database so employee timesheet hours guys and this uh, uh, this is the one and one more thing guys maybe my another option is uh, let's take an example of so in this table control suppose um, uh, I, one application is i am getting all the employees here suppose so i need to get this screen so whenever i go to the employee when i enter the employee number here so when i enter the employee number i need to get those employee uh, timesheet details over here guys and uh, save and come back now what i am going to do is so maybe so leave it that, that thing we'll see later but one more thing what i need to do is so when i come to this screen automatically i need to populate those details how can i do that so when i as soon as i come into the one or two screen as soon as i come into the one or two screen so i have already an employee timesheet details see these details i have in the database once i came to the in this table control the screen automatically i need to populate i need to populate this table details how can i do that how can i do that so when i go to the manage timesheet enter and now it's coming but when i start freshly you will not i will not be getting the data see go to the edz9 employee and manage timesheet enter see i'm getting in a blank screen actually i need to display the data when i come to the screen by default what i need to do hmm? pbo perfect so you need to write the logic in the uh, pbo guys so uh, i think yeah vikas so so you need to write the logic in the pbo of the screen so go to the pbo of the see this is my logic and maybe what i will write so i am going to create one more module and this module is fetch underscore data this is my fetch underscore data guys so enter fetch underscore data and okay and okay and get the data from the table guys so get the data from the table and select star from gedz9 so before coming into the screen fetch the data and store the data in the internal table that's it automatically it is going to store it select star from gedz9 uh, employee hours and into table so since it is in a multiple records you need to write in the into table timesheet that's it and save and ready printer and activate and activate now i come back to the uh, screen come back and again click on this and enter and go to the 
manage and also guys one more thing see the one or two is in a inactive mode which doesn't work you need to activate the one or two screen so come to the uh, here and come back and G it is in nine and manage timesheet and enter you see the data which is automatically populated guys so that's the uh, one more thing and also um, yeah, yeah we'll do that so maybe one more thing uh, i am going to do is come back uh, and also guys so here actually so let's take an example of so i would like to insert a new record here but this is in a not non editable mode but i need to enable this case how can i do that because I need to put a name here uh, here I, I will enable these uh, buttons like plus and minus okay if I click plus I should get an editable this record I should be able to uh, add records and delete records so whenever I want like to add I need to provide an, a one push button here in the table control section plus symbol and minus symbol so maybe I can delete the record I can uh, add the records that's the important thing whenever you do any table control guys so uh, that is little uh, i go to here layout and here you can see i need to put in a push button see this is a push button add okay add a record add record and put the icon uh, you can see plus button so plus add paste down insert huh? See add row plus symbol or uh, you can see this plus symbol I can use guys okay and okay so plus symbol we can do and also one more push button uh, and the next push button is hmm, delete record and delete record and the guys did i do the function code here i need to give the function code add and here function code is delete it's a delete record and i can put an a delete put an a uh, minus delete is not there Uh, uh, remove minus symbol. You did you see any minus symbol? Somewhere I have seen this. Okay, so now what I am going to do, guys. So now I am going to introduce. It's in a difficult logic, guys. So now I am going to introduce one shortcut for the table control. SE thirty eight. Okay, so employee and test underscore program okay you can refer the table control logic in the um, table control logic 
so go and create so i'm going to define executable program and a local object and here i am going to write in a call screen call screen 100 and call the screen maybe i will write call screen after start of selection and go and call screen and okay and okay and do something and go to the layout see guys here there are two options one is table control the second one is the table control with wizard wizard means no need to write any code guys so click on this and put an a like this that's it it will ask for something and continue and give the table control name tc102 okay just you need to enter guys so sap will generate a code for you next one is so how do you generate so maybe uh, okay cancel so i will create an a, a internal tables save come back and maybe i need to create some internal table data uh, gt underscore time uh, sheet and the type table of uh, gedz 9 employee hours and next one is gs underscore time sheet and which is an a type of type of gedz 9 employee hours okay so activate the program you need to activate why because so then only you are going to get this uh, data objects into the screen so double click and go to the layout and in the layout select the table control with a wizard that's it and continue and the name is tc102 so automatically it will generate a controls the table control name tc102 type table view using screen one or two the code will be generated automatically the next one is so how do you define your table uh, your table control so i need to define the table control from the program uh, internal table gt underscore timesheet and work area what is the work area which you need to use gs underscore timesheet and continue and what are the fields which you would like to have in the table control i would like to have these three these fields and so do you want only output no i would like to need an input uh, with the column headers automatically it will get in a column headers and do you need any selections so if you want to select the record you can do the selections as well guys so maybe i need any line selection and what column you need to select and selection column field maybe uh, maybe i can put selection column field is uh, select underscore uh, select underscore select underscore fld and do you need multiple selection no i want only single selection and the selection field the control that is not existing okay so it will be the field should be there in the uh, table guys maybe i will do i don't select anything and do the continue and uh, so do you want to scroll yes i would like to do any scrolling of the uh, record and uh, continue and it will generate some include programs guys automatically system will generate an include programs and complete so that's it guys so you can see the table control and the options page down and page up options are also available and also uh, this is my table control and uh, so we need to have and activate the screen and okay and go to the flow logic see guys the code is which is generated automatically did did we write the code no so see it is looping at internal table into the work area with control the table control name cursor the table control name so leave this and see process after input 
and loop at internal table chain and and chain and so field the every field it is doing and it is modifying the on chain request guys and this is my logic and also tc underscore one or two user command and uh, and go to the user command and here it is going to give all the logic i see this is the table control and uh, gt underscore time c selection field i didn't provide any selection field okay changing okay code and user code okay search so this this is a lot of options which is giving and see guys so here it is giving the insert suppose if you want to do any insert row so you need to write this logic guys so insert insr so whenever you perform an add record so you need to write like this logic so go to this logic so this much logic you need to write it guys that's the uh, uh, very very important this so we need to uh, this logic is very very difficult guys okay so you need to perform like this so maybe what i will do is i will i am going to uh, i am going to get this logic over there guys see so in the module user command so in the user command so when it is so that's okay so when it is in a uh, code insert i am going to perform this logic i am going to perform this logic guys so maybe i go to the my program So go to this is our program, right? So it, this is an actual program and in the layout we have defined uh, Add record add record the function code is add. So whenever it is an add Okay uh, Whenever it is an add and go to the flow logic and in the user command see in the user command so whenever you would like to in a When the function code is add so write this logic case so when it is an add so i am going to write this logic control c and control v so tc underscore one or two and gt underscore timesheet and selection field and okay code and double click this perform and create in the same program and here also you need to write the same logic and okay and take the logic from here so i don't want all this logic i want only insert and delete record guys see the inserted logic only i need to uh, i need to get so maybe i copy uh, this logic control c and control v and do the uh, this and also guys the name should be same otherwise it will be problem so this name control c so maybe i can copy the same control c control v and next logic is so i copied until uh, offset where is p under l underscore okay until here and i need to have this logic as well guys maybe i need to have this logic i need to call this perform and double click on this and so double click on this insert row and okay and okay and okay so here also i am going to copy this then use the total logic use 
the total as you can save and pretty printer and do the uh, syntax and changing okay code uh, okay code. that's it and so okay code you need to define over here Do the syntax check no syntax errors found guys and activate and activate so maybe i'll go to the screen and activate the uh, this screen as well and now go to here and put on a break point here guys i put on a break point on the side you come and go to the transaction now go to the transaction just I have taken that program to get an a generated code. So go to the GEDZ9 and EMP and enter and manage timesheet. Enter. See, I got some record. Maybe here I put in a cursor on the uh, this and maybe do an add record. Insert multiple records. See, so say you come, it's an add. So when it is an add, it is going to uh, give me the this thing search p underscore okay and table control name tc one or two and search p underscore okay what is this table control specific operations I need to define some element guys p underscore okay what is this in the uh, so the test program i need to go back again to the test program just see 38 what is the test program which i have created this one huh? and uh, change p underscore okay double click Maybe in the screen level, So the operation which we are doing, so this, 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 okay code. Mm -hmm. This goes to this. So maybe I will delete this logic case. So I do not want this logic.
Come back. back. So manage timesheet and place the cursor add record. When it is an add, so table control name and table name, and go to the uh, table control name. It's in a field symbols. So assign the field symbols and assign it and table uh, gt underscore timesheet and concatenate uh, so lines line name and get cursor line l underscore tenth line i put in a cursor guys okay and if size of rc equal to zero and i am doing something Yes. dump so where it is giving the dump when this is no again st22 and today error analysis it is giving me the dump at source code extract top line lines minus one Is it top line? Okay. Okay. G E D G nine E M P manage timesheet and place the cursor. I put the cursor on the tenth line. So then do the add record. So whenever it is an add, assign. So lines, so assign G underscore TC one not two underscore. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. So what I need to do is I need to calculate the how many number of records which are there in the internal table. So that's the problem. So I have to declare this. Okay. Control C and go to the program. I am going to declare this table control how many records which I need to have. So control, what is that? Declare this and type uh, integer. You know how many number of records always will be the integer. And go to the PBO and S. And so I am fetching the data. After I fetch the data, if psi hyphen sub rc sub rc which is equal to zero and describe table gt underscore hmm, time sheet so time sheet and lines and these many lines case so i am going to get it how many lines which we have in this records so pretty printer and i did in a, a describe the internal table guys so enter so now it should work guys so come back to the uh, transaction and f8 where is that yeah come back and do the edg9 emp and manage timesheet and place the cursor here and do the i Whenever I 
put the cursor this way on which record you placed in a cursor guys that will be read by system and also see how many records we have so we have total number of records this many 11 10 and 10 records i put in a cursor here so that means it should add the record in the 11th so put in a cursor add record see guys the record is added so add record the record is added then add record the record is added see so which is working fine guys add record nice so add record add record add record okay so this is the thing so click on this see table control adding so this is a powerful guys if you handle this program you will become an, a good coder guys okay so see editable add record i'm going to add it so now copy control y and you can do n number of things guys control c and control v and assign uh, another company one not 100 so maybe i will assign the another company so maybe one not to sap india so uh, 102 and 102 and 102 and 102 and 102 i am assigning to the another company this employee i am assigning to the another company guys One zero two and one zero two and one zero two one zero two and one zero two. Okay, save. So I have saved the records. So what happened? Save doesn't work here. So save. Oh, some of the records are saved, right? One zero two are saved. Uh, I think the unique records so the duplicated records are not saved guys see so here I can say it's in a one zero uh, to some records are saved because that is in a duplication that's why it doesn't save it guys okay so save and maybe I can do like this uh, control Y and uh, control C and control V and my next thing is uh, i would like to save uh, from here uh, from here so i put in a fine art 3 enter but do you see is there a fine art 3 record in the database no fine art 3 no actually you need to validate the data guys so in the table control you must validate see i have given in a wrong data fine art 3 the employee number which is not there and company 110 which is not there so i must do any validation how you can do any validation guys so that's we are going to do it so maybe there is one more uh, 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 come to the one or two and here you can do any validation so whenever as soon as you do any uh, module check data on input so as soon as you input so validate the data in this case so i'm going to perform a validation so module and the module is check data once you enter the data it will be triggered into this module guys check data and go and okay and go and s and you can do the net check data guys so select okay start from GEDZ9 employee. So this is my employee and uh, uh, select star. Instead of select star, I will do uh, select count star this. So I am going to calculate the record, whether the record is exist or not. That's it. So if the record is exist, this is one of the select statement which we are, we know select count star how many records are exist in the database with this record so where employee number and which is equal to the my gs underscore time sheet iphone employee number so i have entering this employee number and if psi iphone sub rc not equal to zero that means if there is no record then only i will raise an error guys and message 
and a message and uh, uh, what I need to write a message okay message so we enter correct employee number and a type uh, type e type e that's it so save first we'll do the one validation spread a printer and do the syntax check and activate so we are going to do in a check data guys so once you enter the employee number once i press enter it triggers this module check underscore data on input on input guys so this is also one more important guys so the validations are very very important in the table control point of view and go to the gedg maybe i need to activate the screen screen is activated and also program uh, also you should activate and after you do the activation and go to here and enter and manage employee manage employee maybe i put in a cursor add record i'm going to add uh, five zero uh, four guys enter see guys enter correct employee number that is the validation how can you do the field validations in the table control so very very important you must use a chain and chain chain and chain this is one thing and you need to use field the field name and module the module where you will write the code is the module it's like in a subroutine and you need to use the event called on input so that's the on input and also on request this is an on chain request so which is used to capture the data on the table control so whenever you do any uh, whenever you enter the data if you want to capture the data we are going to use an on chain request but whenever you want to validate the data as soon as you enter the data into field so the event which will be triggered is the on input guys this is an entry question what is the difference between on input and on request on chain request so on input as soon as you enter the data and if you press enter the on input event will be triggered so there it is going to validate the data in the table control and on chain request we are going to capture all the data into the uh, internal table table control internal table by using on chain request guys so that's the net difference between on input and on chain request very very important guys these two things in the table control point of view so see it is giving me the validation like this i am going to do any validation for the module even for this also i can use the same module guys don't create any one more module so check data and go to the uh, check data and so here well do the validation select uh, count and uh, uh, count star from cedz uh, 9 company so i am doing a uh, company validations okay where the company where is the company company id and which is equal to the gs underscore time sheet and iphone it's in a company id okay same okay if size sub rc not equal to zero and write the logic control c and also go here control v so enter correct company id enter company id okay so pretty printer the syntax check and enter and now i go to the screen back and go back so and until unless you give the correct number it doesn't give guys come back and come back and enter the manage timesheet and add record one record is added and now i will enter the valid one but the company i give one one zero and enter see enter correct company id case but the cursor still it's going to the 
uh, here actually the cursor should come to here guys so but it is going to this field actually it should not go to this field so maybe i need to create uh on each so so come back so maybe i i have to use this code in another module so if i give another module check data company so i am creating one more module guys check data company and i am going to create one more module so maybe if i create one more module if i write this code and another module control and control v and save and i have used one module for the both the things so actually whenever there is an error it should go to that particular field only not to the another field maybe the table control it is giving uh, like that and go to the here and inactive and activate the screen and now i go to the transaction and g it is e9 enter and manage timesheet and add the record place uh, 502 and 110 and enter okay guys so it's table control will see that record is enabled for the input the other records are disabled for the input guys it's it's there in the same uh, line the same line the error is coming okay maybe i can change this to the uh, thing guys okay why not three and one hundred okay so enter correct employee number now it is the employee number is also not there one zero one okay that's it guys so go back go back so this is the employee application with the table control and tomorrow we see the uh, radio buttons and check radio buttons on the table control level so here i put an a table control the uh, here itself layout here i put an a table control radio button on the table control line guys that also will see in the uh, the tomorrow's class then uh, table control is done and uh, screen we have seen call screen and leave screen and, uh, and then we have an a sub screens guys we'll see the sub screens we have created normal screen till now tomorrow we'll see the sub screens as well so with that we wrap up the module pool program and also guys module pool program we created in two ways one is with the type module pool and also we have created the executable program see and not here we can do the executable programs we can create the call screen directly in the start of selection that way also we can create and one more way is the function group you can create a function group with the function group you can create a module pool program maybe we'll take two more classes on the module pool and tomorrow and day after tomorrow okay so then also we'll see them and one more thing guys so what i am doing when i when i when i save the data so directly i am saving the data into database tables but which is not good practice case so we should not directly update the data into database so like this we should not uh, not like where is that one or two and user command so here you are directly updating the data into database table so actually for every screen there is an a inbuilt database luw which will be executed okay for every screen but i should not execute if i write this database operation so it will update without right see guys without writing any commit work the data is updating by default why because the sap uh, db database luw which will be performed on the screen level but we should not do like this let's take an example of i have an a uh, uh, big transaction like this va01 so which is used to create a sales order in this actually i have uh, or and thousand and uh, distribution channel 10 0, 0. this is a module pool screen guys see so we have an input screen when i press enter based on the ok code it is going to the next screen and now you will understand clearly once you know the module pool program the standard programs you can easily see this is the table control by seeing this you can see see this option guys i have looking for delete item guys so i am looking for this um, uh, icon actually delete item 
so maybe uh, system status you will get a screen number so what is that icon i would like to see and go to the screen uh, which one this one or this one this is the sub screen actually sub screen is 4900 so we'll go to the sub screen go to the layout uh, no that option is not there the sub screen we have table control maybe i will go to the main screen go to the main screen go to the layout dynamically they are calling is that now they are calling okay leave it leave it that and maybe so here you can see there are a lot of screens okay so let's take an example of uh, sold to party this is the partner information and uh, i'm entering something po number okay some something and the date actually the partner will be stored in the partner table vvpa and uh, the item details will be stored in the uh, vbap table the header information stored in the vbap table suppose when i do the enter and if sap saves the data here itself suppose i go to the next screen so maybe i go to the next screen uh, material m uh, iphone uh, zero 01 and other quantity one and uh, enter so so whenever i enter it if i save the data here itself okay so which is not good so if any errors in the next screen so here the data is saved so you whenever you save the data you cannot retrieve back that data from the database so you should not directly do any database operations so you should update the data by using one function model called the update function model guys always you need to perform the database updates by using update function models so that also we'll see in the next class that's in a standard practice don't write the direct statements so you need to write this modify the database operations by using update function modules guys so that we will see in the in the future classes guys so we'll see the sub screens even the sub screen also one more thing we need to look it out sub screen and update function modules and the table control uh, i think table control is done guys okay we have a radio button option so that is not that much important maybe so you, we will use same uh, events on a request event we are going to use for the table control as uh, a radio buttons options so tcs i got a call okay so that's it uh, for the day see you tomorrow bye bye but it's in a very good program table control program you can refer this program guys okay this is the logic so one or two and this is important in the user command so when it is an add this in the table control you must add this function guys otherwise so it's very very difficult so user has to handle this you need to pass the table control and internal table name and I, even this is not required guys this is this is not required and double click <coughs> this code is also not required i have deleted and come to here this code you must do this code you must do guys so maybe what they are doing is first they are taking the internal table name and using the field symbols did i explain the field symbols to you huh? yeah so assigning the uh, table into the field symbol and preparing this uh, uh, this table control name underscore lines and how many lines that lines they are assigning into the lines and they are getting the cursor line so we put a cursor in the 10th record so they are getting the 10th record and so after that uh, set the top line so they are going to 
uh, using the only the table control uh, things guys how many lines you need to insert initial line into this l, l selection line set cursor line l underscore line so l underscore cell line set cursor line l underscore line so what is the l underscore line type integer so i don't know what they are doing l selection line so they are increasing the lines in the table control guys that's it okay so simple they are doing any lines table control lines so in the table control how many lines are there editable that comes stored in the lines and add one more item maybe uh, guys but insert record how it will work we'll see so maybe i put the cursor in the middle suppose let's take an example of manage timesheet and i put the cursor one two three four fifth record and add record oh it's always adding in the final guys okay so that's the problem suppose if i put here add record it should come here only so that is also one thing which we need to uh, see but always it is adding in the bottom okay so okay that's it and thank you all bye bye see you tomorrow